welcome to another episode of Crush Crush. I'm bringing Stabity, the Stabity Stabity that ever Stabity. And uh, last episode was a bit of a disappointment. We did not get Luna up to a lover. We did not get Ava up to lover. Uh, we didn't even start on Karma and Sutra, but we did get Gel up to lover. And also we skipped Daria, because I don't have her on the Steam side. So uh, we'll be worrying about her later, see if I do get her or not. If not, we'll be just doing that as a uh, phone exclusive. Anyway, uh, today we are sticking with Ava. I find you delightfully distracting. It's actually quite dangerous in battle. But here, it's nice. Because we need to uh, keep flirting with her. We are not encouraged to develop personal bonds at Synapse. But I desire your affection. Can I be classified as your girlfriend? Yes, you may, Ava. Yes, you may. That makes me happy. I do not know if I'll be a good girlfriend, but I shall try my hardest. And that's all we need from you. I dreamt of you last night. It was... It was a dream I could not tell others about. Uh, let's just say it was a dream full of, uh... Oh shoot, what's the liquid called? Uh, LCL, I think? Although I've... Uh, the other name is for it is Tang. You have shown me so many beautiful things. I feel... happy. Yeah, she needs an extremely huge amount of affection. It is indeed LCL. Good! Glad my, uh... <laughs> uh, Evangelion trivia is still sharp. This is the first time I've generated feels with my own emotions. It's overwhelming. Hope can't do anything. You have shown me so many. This is I. This is the first. You have shown me. I. It is said that the maximum. You I have don't shown think we have so any, many any new dialogue. For it her. is said that the maximum amplitude nope. of feels field can reach is called the field trip. I. Hey, remember that drink I made you earlier? Anyway. I'm not sure if it was delicious tea or deadly poison. My bad. Luna still uh, needs us to get to uh, 13.35 trillion. Ooh, but I will give her one necklace. A 1.5 billion dollar necklace. Yay, free stuff! That's all she can think about. All right, but we have more monster girls to conquer. So let's start with Quillzone. Ready for your next Monster Girl challenge? You return to Dr. Wood. What incredible creature ripped from the pages of myth and legend awaits you next? So the other... Uh, I'll do that later. It's a cat, says Dr. Wood. She's a piece of cat. She's gonna scratch a good, you silly bastard. Dr. Wood falls asleep then, probably exhausted from his research. Or drunk. The Pisha Cat girl kisses at you in Japanese. Casual plans for the week. Crushed! Ah, Pokemon parody. Yup. Also a Samurai Pizza Cats reference. The Pisha Cat girl has a name tag that says Quill Zone. So donning your oven mitts, you gently guide her back to your place. Also funny that it's oven mitts, because those would be useful for bacon and pizza. She sighs, and a very large sweat drop appears on her forehead. She seems to be mulling you over. <sighs> After a few moments, she licks her paw and polishes her ear. You made it past the first round. Yay! She claws your face, leaving behind huge crossing scratches. But they're gone in the next scene, so... No biggie? You scratch your shirt. You catch her sharpening her claws on the sofa. Best to keep on your toes. Yep. Yay! More time and unlocked another stage. She crashes through the roof of your house and lands on your sofa. Again. She threatens to stuff you into a pizza box and deliver you 30 minutes late, bringing great shame to your house. She groans with ferocious pizza-fueled annoyance. You're just lucky it's not two for one day. Meow. <coughs> she meows just so, alerting you to a fly on your head. 
and bops you with a cooking pan. Like you do. No. No. When she gets a bit huffy with you, her face turns red and grows eight times as large. And the rest of her body probably chibifies. No. Her litter box is unpleasant. No. And probably full of, uh... Uh, Toxoplasma Gandhi. <laughs> okay, but anyway, Quill Zone, in addition to being a samurai pizza cat, is also Quill. Hey, I'm happy to see you. It means I haven't gone blind. You should always appreciate all our advantages. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Okay, Quill Zone. Yep. Poke? She giggle hisses and gives you a snarky smirk. She's considering tickling you back with her claws. How about one hand lotion? Uh, there it is. <coughs> she knocks it off the counter. She was hoping for an enormous cat launching cannon. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, I think we got all her dialogue at the frenemy stage. Let's give her that. She looks over your resume, not much experience in making pizza, but she loves that you're a vet. <laughs> She's seen enough. She welcomes you to the team, question mark. She's also a calzone pun. Yes, she is. <laughs> or calzone. <laughs> but actually, let's see what jobs I have. Zoo, ah yes, on the zoo side. That's where I was playing uh, vets for all the uh, zoo animals. Let's gift her one book. Ah, she knocks it off the counter. All right, let's go to uh, movies and take us up to uh, Auteur. Uh, where are movies? There we go, closer to the end. Uh, when the moon hits your eye like a giant pizza pie. That's a kitty. I think that's uh, a reference to uh, That's Amor. But anyway, we need to get movies. Mm, there we go, at the top of the list. Actor. Award-winning actor. Actor-director. The song from Lady and the Tramp. Gotcha. I don't know if I've actually seen that movie in full. Award-winning director. <laughs> All right, what do we get after this? Ooh, we've reached the 15 trillion cutoff. Auteur, perfect. <coughs> mm, and we got Auteur on the phone side. Which was sort of mediocre as the Disney stuff went, but hey, it isn't The Last Jedi. Yep. <laughs> Can we get anything new? <laughs> Her litter box is unpleasant. Yeah, Last Jedi was a real disappointment. Totally unwatchable, in my opinion. Alright, book gift. She informs you that you're now her friend. She gives you a membership card and a samurai sword. Told you it's a samurai pizza cat. Meow, meow. Honestly, it's one of the more straightforward anime game slash stories you've played. <laughs> nice. Alright. While you were gone, she defeated the forces of evil and ate a pizza in that order. But, most importantly, we've hit the magical 15 trillion. So let's go back to Luna. Hey, remember that drink I made you earlier? I'm not sure if it was delicious tea or... And gift her the necklace. I don't normally do the friend thing. I have lackeys and minions and love slaves, but friends, I guess. Hooray, we're now friend-zoned. Why do I have the feeling that I'm falling into some sort of flirty trap? Oh, because this is all going according to Keikaku. Translator note, Keikaku means plan. Come play, my lord. <laughs> so lame. Yes. Oh, lovely. And now we need 10,000 cars. 
to gift her. <laughs> Let's see how much one car is. 15 billion dollars. A flirty trap would be a pretty boy hitting on her. Ah, oh, A pretty boy dressed in a dress, you mean? Yeah, 15 billion. So times a thousand, that's 15 trillion. 150 trillion to get the uh, car. So let's get to work. Jobs. Cleaning, art, zoo. Oh, and auteur is not the maximum for movies. I thought it might have been, but it isn't. Come play gods, though. <laughs> Come play gods, those dumb ads. I don't know what you mean. Ads aren't playing on uh, Twitch right now. Oh, I need to uh, get money on the uh, phone side as well. Can't skimp there. 150 trillion is quite a bit. All right, let's go ahead and gift you one of those cars. I'll add this to my horde. That's right, my horde. Every self-respecting magical mercenary sorceress needs a horde. I think you might have a bit of dragon in you. All right, but anyway, let's go on those moonlight strolls. Come play, my lord, is a reference to Ebony ads that used to plague the internet. Ah. Oh, the moon in your world isn't the color of blood. How quaint. I mean, it is when it's uh, just above the horizon, but usually it isn't. All right. Uh, Star Destroy Doer in Slaying. Okay, probably need to get ourselves a level higher there. Slaying, we were at Planet Buster level. Now let's, uh... Work on getting slaying a little bit higher. Uh, gonna take a while. Gonna take uh, quite a while. So, more girls. Back to Quill Zone. While you were gone, she defeated the forces of evil and ate a pizza in that order. Yes, very good. Let's gift her one flower. She scolds you for being so nice? Question mark. Example in Discord. Thank you. And making her tear up a bit. Let's just take care of those moonlight strolls. Yeah. Cute. And we need to get uh, to district attorney on the legal side. So let's do that as well. We're multitasking. Lawyer. State attorney. Come on. Come on, come on. Judge Derp. <laughs> uh, being a derpy judge is not good. Gonna take a while here. But it should be coming in through relatively soon. Shitty free internet, internet game relying on transparent sex appeal in its ads. Lovely. Alright, Judge Derp is doing. How about Slaying? Oh, Slaying's decently far along. Judge Derp is catching up. Alright. We'll have a battle. Objection! Denied. <laughs> Uh, Phoenix Wright. Kind of good games. Interesting games. Way too much talking to LP them. And they get kind of ridiculous towards the end. Alright, Judge Derp is about to level up. District Attorney, perfect. How about Planet Buster? Still going. Okay. Girls, we did get to District Attorney, though. Let's see. You discover that she's nocturnal, and the sight of a full moon makes her a bit, uh, amorous. Ooh. She meows, but in a dubbed-over voice. And when she purrs, little kanjis dance in the air. This is a strange reference. She giggle hisses and gives you a snarky smirk. She's considering tickling you back with her claws. She wants to play patty cake, and those paws are coming in hot. So keep your guard up. Getting close. 
Yes, Star Destroy Doer. And on that side as well. I actually think the great Ace Attorney Chronicles are significantly stronger than the original games. Still too talky to easily LP. Yes. Okay, back to girls. Sorry, Quill Zone. We need to step away from you, and we gotta get back to Luna. Come play, my lord. <laughs> so lame. Er. Ah, yes. Just that we got the Star Destroyer. We still need, uh, lots and lots of money. 150 trillion. Gonna take a while. So, back to Quill Zone. And let's keep maxing her out. While you were gone, she defeated the forces of evil and ate a pizza, in that order. She shares a bologna sandwich with you. You have no idea where she got it, or if it's really bologna. But your mama didn't raise no quitter. She tries to hide in a paper bag and spook you, and it works. Why are you such a chicken? I don't know, viewer, why are you such a chicken? <laughs> nothing new, nothing <laughs> new. <laughs> okay, well, let's give her those uh, flowers. <laughs> she likes you and wants to know if you'll form a superhero comedy uh, team with her and or a restaurant. <laughs> she flies through the roof with happiness. Anime physics is both startling and confusing. Yay, <laughs> diamond! She blushes around you so much, she seems to get lightheaded pretty often. You're a char- you charmer. How about the beach? <laughs> Ooh, she even brought pizza to the beach. And the crab is holding the box. How nice. It's a delivery crab now. She spent a long time staring out to sea, imagining a fox so fabulous that it explodes. That I really do not get the reference for at all. <laughs> she made your bed while you were out. And by made, I mean covered in pizza. So Stab, you're a space emperor and you have a golden throne, an iron throne, a cushioned wooden throne, or a sweet swivel executive chair. But don't make your throne out of fine china. Okay. Um, the throne itself is uh, cushioned wood probably because as soon as people hear you have a porcelain throne, oh. Ah! <laughs> Alright, let's gift her one tea set and see how she reacts to the tea set. She meow meow meows happily, which is good. If she went ribbit, she'd be a frog. You'll never be taken seriously again. <laughs> you catch her climbing the curtains, but she only smiles, a sort of make my day expression. She meows outside your door in the middle of the night to let you know you're doing a great job. Yep. She pounces on you, knocking you to the ground with delightful, with delightfully violent affection. She caresses you with her tail, just softly enough to give her plausible deniability, the mark of a true hero. She meows happily when you scratch her behind the ear, or on the back of her tail, or her chin. She might have fleas. <laughs> she waits for you to sit and form a lap. That's where she wants to be. Mm. You catch your cook? No. Meow. Meow. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. Let's get her some tea. Yeah. Every time you're around, her cheeks blush with happy shyness. And then she gets very, very mad. Yeah. When you try to ignore her, that's when she climbs on you for tummy rubs. Mysterious! Yeah. Yay, more time and Quillzone has reached a crush! Let's go sightseeing first! <laughs> Did I tell you about Crafty during my visit to V? Uh, was that the cat? And you can see that we still have the uh, dark portal up in the air here causing a problem. She's a ball of embarrassment after spilling pizza on her pretty kitty. Uh, breasticles. Breasticles? <laughs> okay. Oh, she needs money. And five trillion. Literally, as I said, we just got enough money for all the puppies for Quill Zone. <coughs> Gonna cost us a very hard-earned five trillion for it, though. 
but let's gift her just one puppy. Cute puppy! <laughs> she meows happily and blows you a kiss. The kiss literally bounces off your cheek. Confusion. <laughs> yeah, anything specifically about the cat? <laughs> she pounces on you, knocking you to the ground with delightfully violent affection. <sighs> She, no, it's fleas. She gives you a gentle headbutt. Her helmet thingy is military grade though, so it hurts. Uh, Crafty is the one who kept heading into the guest room every night to hop on you for pets and cuddles, then curl by you <laughs> to doze. Nice. All right, but let's go to the restaurant and get up to uh, Maitre D. Is restaurant the second one on the list? Let's just bump that up so it's first. Host Maitre D. That was fast. <clears throat> Folk. She purrs happily and gives you your hand a nibble. She may not let you stop. <laughs> I think we got everything. I think we do. Let's give her those insanely expensive puppies. All five trillion of them. Five trillion dollars worth of them. Truly hit it off with you instantly. Such a good kitty. Yep, my my brother's cat is uh, incredibly friendly as well. Hit it right off with him. <clears throat> Although the only problem is that he's the kind of cat that really likes getting between your legs. And if you're crouching, he really likes getting below your feet, which is stupidly dangerous for him, because if I lose my balance, that's going to be a crushed kitty. So I was careful not to crouch near him. <clears throat> Tired of the mind games? Question mark. She pins you down with a cyborg paw and demands for your undying love and affection. She meows happily and proceeds to nibble on the back of your neck. Apparently, it tastes like victory. Yay, a diamond. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the movies. <laughs> Useless movies. She seems a bit disappointed that the movie made sense without enough cross-dressing or ghosts. <laughs> she brushes her tail beneath your nose and giggle purrs when you sneeze. <laughs> she falls asleep on your lap. If you try to move her, the claws dig in. Hold still. Yeah. She seems really sluggish, so you quickly turn her off and on. Now she's perky and turned on. <coughs> she meows happily and takes the picture because it lasts longer. Yeah. She makes the shape of a heart with her fingertips and yawns happily. Yeah. <laughs> She wants to climb on your shoulder and perch from your head. It's a good thing you didn't skip leg day. She plays you the song of her people on her flute. Apparently, there are enough cyborg calzone cats out there to be considered a people. She digs up all the things she buried in your garden, including the marbles you apparently lost. Ha ha ha. Lost her marbles. Or lost our marbles. She looks into your eyes with shimmering happiness. Her eyes get big when she does this. Meow. She really wants you to pet her tail and give it a little pull. Flirting is complicated. Meow. When you kiss her, things get sort of foggy and soft focused. It's sappy, but fun. Meow. Meow. She crawls between your legs whenever she wants to show her affection. You fall down a lot now. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> And we need a lot more money to get her up to lover level. But at least, uh, actually, not really. Didn't help us. We got the cleaning from a gel. We did not get anything uh, useful here. Cat noises ensue. Yes, they do. So unfortunately, that just ended up costing us money, and we didn't, uh, didn't force us to level up any of our jobs, which is unfortunate. So, I guess the only thing we reasonably can do is continue our uh, not-Pokemon adventure. Alright, see you in a second, Anwise. And unlock a new girl, Bonchovi! 
Once again, you hear the calling to become a Monster Girl master. And that's because Dr. Wood is calling you on your cell phone again in the middle of the night. Hey there, fella. Dr. Wood slurs. This one's a fish. Don't shake her bag. He begins to say something about getting her wet, but then tumbles down a flight of stairs, which makes sense. Mermaids should definitely be kept in water. Childhood doubts about ever meeting a real-life mermaid princess. Crushed! The mermaid looks at you with thirsty eagerness. Either that or she's dehydrated. Better safe than sorry, you rush to take her to the ocean. Yeah. She licks her teeth as you approach, which is more than a little off-putting. Nonetheless, you reach out with her hand with your hand. Yeah, she's gonna wanna eat you. <laughs> and she squirts water in your face. She laughs and flip flip flips back into the water. Not a bad start. Uh, hey, and, and anyways, now we're dealing with a siren. Yeah. She eyes you with a coy expression. And yes, here we could also get a little bit more movies and zoo, but we've already maxed out the zoo. She eyes you with a coy expression, wondering if you're brave enough to get in the water with her. You know, because she'll eat us like sirens do. <laughs> when you do just that, she slips an electric eel into your pants. It's a rather shocking experience. Yep, and also her name is Bonchovi, like anchovy. No, not that kind of siren. She sighs out of boredom. You catch her considering biting a hook. Hook? She casts you into the cruel sea where a thousand fathoms almost swallow you whole. Maybe be a little bit more careful. She puts a wallet on the end of a vision line and casts it at you. You almost fall for it. Twice. Yeah. You can smell a drop of blood in the water from over a mile away. Also chocolate. Don't be made of or she. I don't know how I said you. She can smell a drop of blood in the water from over a mile away. Also chocolate. Don't be made of chocolate. Mm -hmm. For a moment it looks like she's considering singing a song that will capture your heart and make you crash your ship. Then she hiccups. Yeah. Yeah. She wants to be where the people are wants to see them dancing you're not really scratching the itch <laughs> she nibbles on an oyster then crushes it with her jaws and sucks it clean you immediately proceed with more caution okay well let's give her a different gift a shell she plunges your gift into the briny deep then she clicks uh, some choice words your way. Yikes. All right, how about the tea set she actually wants? Yeah. She gives you a happy look, apparently impressed. You're still back, uh, impressed you're still back for more. She reaches her hand for yours yeah. and gives it a good hearty shake. It seems handshakes are also a thing for mermaids. Well done. Isn't Buiu the sweet song that lured the sailors in? Ear <laughs> splitting klaxon? No. No. Huh? Yay, diamond! You can't quite explain it, but you have a feeling that the starfish on her head is a bad influence. Anything new? because I feel like singing. She wants to be where the people are. Wants to see them dancing. There we go. Let's gift you just some flowers. Ooh. Hey. Nope, she still doesn't like it and tosses into the briny deep. Okay, flowers. Huh? She debates for a long time whether to hang out with you or the mollusks. You wait patiently. In the end, she picks you over the mollusks, which is probably cool enough to put on your business card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, her uh, laughing's kind of annoying. They've got the underwater filter applied to her. Oops, let's actually close it. She breaks into a sweeping musical song, but it's in dolphin, and it mostly sounds like... <laughs> Uh, the problem when you don't understand foreign languages. All right, let's get her that moonlight yeah, stroll. No. 
The moonlight makes her super dreamy. She wants to crawl into an enormous clam with you and snuggle. She has some mollusks, carefully ensuring she's suitable for this game's rating. That she does! That she does! She may look soft and sweet, but she's pretty tough. She grew up in the grotto. <laughs> she hums happily and tickles you back, but she warns you from tickling her ear finnies. Aw, oh, but I want to tickle her ear finnies! She peeks over your shoulder at what you're reading, and then drips water on your book. Then she ees with joy. She can leap over 20 feet out of the water, but don't yell, THAR SHE BLOWS! That seems to make her salty. I mean, yeah, calling a woman a whale, uh, not exactly a smart move. How does she react to a drink? No. She seems to like it, but it doesn't make it to her grotto of treasures. It's getting re-gifted for sure. No. She likes to nibble your toes when you put your feet in the water. It feels as relaxing and weird as it sounds. No. She peeks over your shoulder at what you're reading. Uh no. Despite being a mermaid, her cave of stuff is surprisingly cluttered and disorganized. Ah, 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 ah. she's not a maid. Anything else? No. Yeah, just, I did want to get back to this one. She likes to nibble your toes when you put your feet in the water. It feels as relaxing and weird as it sounds. Those are those uh, fish that uh, they have at spas that give you, that exfoliate your feet by just eating the dead skin. All right, let's have your drinks. <laughs> she wants one more game of Marco Polo before you go. Do you have time for one more game? She ees happily and disappears beneath the waves. It's hard playing Marco Polo with a fish. Hello. Okay. Ooh, Rain Man in the casino. Let's do that. Also, it's funny because uh, uh, Rain Man, like making it rain, or uh, the Weather Man, but no, rain like ruling. Uh, casino, Lucky Duck. Alright, that's going to take a while, but not a long while. <clears throat> long enough for me to grab some more water, because my throat is killing me. Um. Alright, we're already at nine. That's about two-thirds of the way through. And let's hope uh, Rain Man is the next one. Yes, it is. That does mean once again we didn't max it out, but at least it gave us a nice uh, boost. All right, let's go to the beach. Yeah. Oh, it's the scene straight out of The Little Mermaid, and she even has red hair. That's wonderful. <laughs> Uh, check what you just redeemed. Uh, oh, redeemed sing mode. Oh no! <laughs> and how, and how fitting. And how fitting. An enormous musical number broke out. The beach is a fun place to take a mermaid. <clears throat> I wish I knew some of the, uh... Uh, some of the mermaid songs, but yeah, you uh, redeemed the sing mode. I don't know how well I'm gonna do it. Don't know how much I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, new car, yes. Let's give a fish a new car. She eats whatever you gave her, mistaking it for lunch. At least it seemed to taste good. <laughs> You're just being amused. Yes, I know. All right. She hums affectionately before splashing you with water. She seems pretty keen on you diving after her. The car keys were a snack? No, that was an entire car. It's just a key, but it's a car. It's a new car. Yeah. She likes hanging out with you more than other mermaids. 
because she's too cool for schools. <laughs> she hums happily and tickles you back, but she warns from tickling your finnies. Yep, had that. Yeah. She coos, imagining you sailing the prow of your ship into an enormous sea witch. Hey! Again, Little Mermaid reference, which is a reference to Cthulhu. Yeah. She needs a hug. She swam into a wall today and someone yelled, Damn! Huh? She's acting coy. In other words, she's making faces at you just below the surface of the water. <laughs> no. See? She gleefully attaches a clam bra to you. It is a highly educating moment. Remember, yeah, Cthulhu yeah. is weak to boat damage. He is. She coos, imagine. Nope. Add huh? that. Yeah. She made you a peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. It makes you laugh. Then it puts you in a coma. Don't eat jellyfish. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. She pulls you into the water and weaves seaweed ribbons in your hair. Yeah. I hate the feel of seaweeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's all the dialogue. Let's give her a bunch more cars. How much is it going to cost us? From 5 trillion down to 3.6. Unfortunate. She plays with your toes, fascinated with her alien beauty. When you catch her enjoying it, she blushes. Oh. There we go. She offers you a chance to play with her tail, which is just shiny and smooth and delightful. Great work. Yay, another diamond. We are sufficiently mysterious for her. Ah, but once again, not enough money. She did her hair. She hopes you notice. By did, I mean she dried it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do we actually have new yeah. dialogue? It doesn't look like it. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, let's uh, go sightseeing. Really? She's got to keep hydrated. <laughs> Acting coy is great. It is. It is. Okay, well, we are stuck with uh, Bonchovi. Can't get her any higher. Uh, honestly, with all the money problems, I'm very tempted to skip straight to, uh, uh, to Yuki. Because she's going to give us a shit ton of money. But... On the other hand, I also kind of like the fact that we're uh, playing Koi and not KOI like Bon Jovi is. Come play, uh, my lord. <laughs> and making it so take lame. forever to actually get this stuff. But. Unlocks lover level. That's the thing that bugs me. Uh, Ava gifts. Does she actually have anything? It she was, doesn't even have anything, so I can't check that way. Not tell others about. Yeah, whatever. You know what? Okay, well, we're as far as we can go with Bonchovi for now. Ant fascists bug Anoise. <laughs> yes, they do. Okay, let's just unlock Karma. So backtrack a bit. There we go. Go to Karma. As the dark portal grows larger, you begin to realize that the world is probably coming to an end. Suddenly, a mystical love oracle and her guardian emerge, searching for the chosen one. They look at you and... Expectations crushed! They explain that a great evil is coming called the Dark One. She must be stopped and the dark portal closed, or the world is doomed! They look you up and down and mention there's much work to be done. Oh dear. The prophecy didn't imply that the chosen one would be so colorful. <laughs> and we need to get to 58 wisdom, so hobbies. Ah, uh, where is wisdom? Right there. That is going to take a long time. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, wisdom right there. Meditation. Not going to take as long on the phone, but still a while. And unfortunately, that still doesn't help me 
because until I get her to a point that I can give her a gift, I can't check what I wanted to check. Ah, oh, I am stuck in a annoying situation. 40 minutes. I need to pick what to do. Do I go for uh, Spectrum? Do I go for Yuki? I think I'm gonna go with Yuki. I really don't like doing it. I think it's cheating. But I don't really... You know, when it comes to the choice between in-game money or real-world money, we gotta do what you gotta do. Hobbies, 54. We need to get to 58. How much longer? Alright. I'm gonna pause Wisdom on the phone, just because. And let's go all the way down to Yuki. Did I miss her? I missed her. I don't have Yuki! No, I don't have her on the phone! Well, that solves my problem. Not doing that. So, let's go back. Uh, keep doing the uh, meditation for a bit. Hobbies, how are you doing? That's gonna take a while. And jobs are coming along slowly. So, no real choice. Back to... Uh Back to here, and let's unlock yet another girl. Spectrum! Finish up the uh, Monster Girl section. In the next episode, our hero learns an important lesson in friendship, and always doing your best no matter what. They also learn some interesting things about Centaur Anatomy. Go, damn it! Go, damn it! She kicked it. Oh, go, damn it! She kicked me in a balls right on the coin purse. I'm blacking out. Dr. Wood appears to collapse, probably because his brain is so big. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. There's a half girl, half horse here though. This is probably the monster girl Dr. Wood wanted to uh, help examining. Sensing adventure, you coax her to follow you home. Dr. Wood's coin purse, crushed. There are a lot of mysteries to uncover when it comes to centaurs. That's right, we're gonna find out together! She's not a fan. Her eyes have a I KILL YOU! Expression. But she lets you get close. She takes the alfalfa you're, off you're offering and dashes away. No one can resist alfalfa. Eh. Hey. She seems willing to have you around, but she makes sure you know this is a non-touching slash talking slash moving slash breathing arrangement. After you pass out from lack of oxygen and awaken, you catch her resting next to you. Progress! <laughs> Yay, you earned a diamond. All right, 15 seconds, just enough to, uh, actually I'll just keep you here. She's very difficult to get motivated. You click your tongue, and she pretends not to hear you. Poke. She giggles and dashes away, but she always looks ho hopeful that you'll catch her and continues. Catch her and continue. That's still gonna take a while longer. I sense an MLP reference on her. Yes, yes you should. That is definitely a My Little Pony reference. With the hair and all. Right, let's give you uh, one flower, see how you like that. Mm. She takes great satisfaction in running wild with your gift, dragging it through bogs and mires. Centaurs don't know how to say, no thanks. <laughs> she lets you mount her, but then bucks like a hurricane caught in a bag. You don't last eight seconds. <laughs> when you're not looking, she grabs you, hog ties you, and straps a saddle to your back. Then come the selfies. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> she breaks your fence, laughing all as all your monster girls escape. It makes the local news. No! Mount, but not mount, am I right? Yes, that's definitely what they were referencing. It's very difficult to get motivated. I know. You have, you have to carry around a carrot for emergency defense. She really likes those. 
Tschüss. I think that's everything. Let's get her those, uh, those flowers and be done with frenemy. She pokes you in the butt, looking for the rest of it. Also, your tail. You give your butt a wiggle and it seems to delight her. You're funny looking, but kind of fun to have around. She always has a sneaky look when you're nearby. Keep your wits about you and watch out for wedgies. If she keeps neighing, she'll make herself hoarse. <laughs> My throat is already hoarse. Ooh, we can level up sports to team buyer. Let's go do that. Jobs. Uh, sports. There we are. Let's get you to the bottom. Uh, sports. There we go. At the bottom. Sports. Face puncher. Endorsement getter. Just a little horse, I hope. Ah, it's a kind of big horse. <laughs> like a Shetland or something. <laughs> Endorsement getter, team buyer. There we go. Endorsement getter, team buyer. Give us a little bit of money. A nice little boost. When you're not looking, she grabs you. Hogtized already had that. No new dialogue. Okay, well, let's get her the cake. She brings you a bale of wheatgrass as a friendship offering. She looks at you expectantly. <laughs> Eating a bale of wheatgrass is unpleasant, but now she seems very happy to have you around. Yes, very MLP reference. She smiles as you approach, and her tail flicks rather gleefully. <coughs> yes! Deity destroying! All right! Let's bump uh, slaying even higher. <coughs> that is gonna take a while. Just remember, friendship is profit. Yes, that's the... Uh, Libertarian form of My Little Pony. All right. How about we gift her a plush toy? And this way I can keep my phone on the uh, job th on the job side and see how far along we're going. She gives it a sniff and tries to balance it on her head. When it falls, she doesn't pick it up, actually. Right here? Nope, still 53. <laughs> Gotta take a while. A game of tag wind, winds you up in the hospital. She cries rainbow tears and won't let you go once you're back on your feet. That's my little seahorse. <laughs> Her tummy rumbles and she eats wheatgrass. Honestly, that could be uh, either the horse part or the girl part craving that. Uh -huh. She leaps over a gorge pretending to be chased by a posse. She looks cute in a cowboy hat. She won't let you stop scratching behind your ear. This is your life now. My little seahorse, friendship is profit. Yes. <laughs> Reference to the fitty. <coughs> she literally said, nay. <laughs> she challenges you to the game of polo and wipes the field with you. Literally. Okay, well, we got all that. Let's go on a Moonlight Stroll. Or more accurately, lots of them. And considering she wound up topless racing through the Twilight Fields, you assume the date went well. Yes. I'll just pronounce them Feedy. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Feedy scent? F fitty scent. <laughs> well, you know how much the uh, 
Uh, you know what, uh, Godzilla would like to eat, though, right? About 350. <laughs> oh, that was bad. <laughs> oh, we are stuck here. We cannot make any more progress with Spectrum. <coughs> until we get that, uh, until we get that job done. Doesn't look like we'll max her out. I'm really upset about Luna. The question is, do I... What I can do is I can break the synchronization. I can get Luna maxed out. Nah. You know what? The simple solution is, this is what I'll stream tomorrow. And have another week in my backlog. Or... Maybe even stream right now? I mean, it's only 9.50. I could get away with it. Oh. We got enough for the plush toy. You know what? I think that's what we're gonna do. This episode's already 50 minutes long. We can uh, wrap things up here. Uh, so yeah, please, like, follow, subscribe. Check me out on Twitch, YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, and Kick. Link in the description for some referrals. And that is that. I will see you guys next time. If you're on the VOD and if you're on the stream, I'll see you, like, in a moment. Bye now.